Well, the relationship between uh, UCLH and UCL has been a long-standing relationship with aspirations to uh, combine world-class research, translational research, and clinical practice. The CBRC has allowed us to um, achieve some of our ambitions. I mean, I think the CBRC has raised the game. Uh, it's instilled amongst the academic community a sense of commitment towards translation. And you see it evidenced also in our commitment to the UK Centre for Medical Research and Innovation. I think that's um, exemplified as well by the creation of the new Cancer Institute. And directly across the road, linked by underground tunnels, is uh, our new ambulatory cancer centre, which will allow the laboratory discoveries in the Institute uh, to be taken through its early clinical trial phases with patients through into common practice in due course. One of the major methods by which our BRC enables research activity to, under, to be undertaken is in, in effect, buying time of clinical academics. My role is to coordinate activities coming from several teams here of clinicians and scientists at UCL that need gene transfer vector for gene therapy. It requires special skills, special, special uh, expertise, special uh, equipment that usually you don't find in a university. Uh, one of the first things we've brought to clinical fruition is gene therapy for haemophilia. When I cut myself shaving, for example, uh, the bleeding just stops, which wasn't happening before. I'm not doing uh, Factor 9 injections twice a week anymore. It is impressive that literally somebody is injecting cells that make in Factor 9. That is impressive, yes. <laughs> It's a huge advantage having a, a powerhouse in terms of science, engineering, medicine on the doorstep of a major London teaching hospital. So there's this beautiful interaction between uh, basic scientists, translational researchers, clinical researchers and the patient pool to enable research to come to fruition. It is now self-evident to any junior or consultant in the hospital that it's a research vibrant atmosphere and that in turn leads to a very attractive environment for new staff to come. The procedure's now complete. Please carry out the sign out. I do my PhD in a lab where I sit with five or six of the world's great neuroscientists on the floor above me. It's sort of slightly humbling experience, but also one which one can learn from. I think we're in a rather unusual situation where our partner hospital is as dedicated to the research agenda as the university. It's having this closeness, I think, which has been particularly important, and of course our geographical proximity sitting side by side has been uh, extremely helpful in achieving that. We can see five years and ten years ahead uh, our combined strength making this the epicentre of translational medical research uh, in the UK, if not in Europe. <laughs>